Welcome back everybody. In this video, our focus is going to be lesson number 19. In lesson number 19, we're playing the same notes in the same order. Um, only we're playing the notes twice each instead of four times each, which is what we did in lesson number 18. We're going to go ahead and practice the dynamics that were introduced to you in lesson 18. So we're going to play the lesson three times. First, piano, which is soft or softly, then forte, which is loud, and then we'll play it with a crescendo and a decrescendo. <clears throat> now, when we're practicing these dynamics, it's important that we're, all, we're not just focusing on making sure the notes are correctly. In order to ex execute the dynamics well, we have to start training ourselves to listen to what we're actually playing. We can't just play the notes and say, oh, I got it, I got it, it sounds good. Well, you don't know it sounds good if you're not listening to what it sounds like, right? So granted, we're still learning how to play our notes and learning our way around the fretboard, but with a, a, a lesson as simple as this, I think we can afford some, some of our precious brain resources to focus on oh, um, not just what we're playing, but what it sounds like when we play it. So lesson 19, let's go ahead and play that piano and listen carefully. Start training your ear to listen to everything you, you, you're playing on the guitar. And make sure that we have an evenness of sound. Everything's got to be piano. We can't play piano and then this note gets a little bit louder. And then this note gets loud. We have to practice nice and steady um, speed of motion with our fingers. So lesson 19, piano, on my count. One, two, three, four, and one. and simple right now let's play at forte making sure not to speed up not to play faster than what we were playing than the tempo that we played when we played piano so good idea to have your metronome have it at the same tempo when you're playing piano as well as when you play forte all right forte again listening to the evenness of sound all the notes got to be up here we can't have one note dip down they all got to be loud and if you're getting caught if your fingernails are getting caught when you're playing forte you're gonna have to you're gonna have to learn how to file your nails properly, and we'll have I'll have to make a video of that soon. Lesson number nineteen, forte, one, two, three, four. Last time through, we're going to play with a crescendo and a decrescendo. We're going to start piano, gradually get loud till we get to measure three. On measure three, we have those two Gs. That's going to be our loudest point. And then we're going to start to gradually back off, play softer and softer until when we get to the end, we're playing piano, a nice little hill in the uh, dynamic spectrum. That's what I want. Okay. Last time through, on my count, one, two, Three, four, and one, two. Lesson number 19. I'll see all of you in lesson number 20.